Hey friends, a quick note on this video. I want to tell you guys straightforward that the audio in this video is horrible. Um, I, I spent many hours, uh, probably like three or four hours, trying to tweak the audio. I got it the best I could, but that's because I shot it with this camera here, which is the Activon CX. I no longer am using this camera um, as of this day, so all the videos forward will be shot with this camera here, which is the GoPro with a Rode mic. So the audio will never be this bad again, but I wanted to make this video uh, because I really feel that it's got some really great content. That's why I spent so many hours uh, working on the audio so I could get it out to you guys. I just think the, the message in this video is great, so um, just let's get going. Good morning, friend. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty awesome, man. I am feeling great this morning. I slept really good last night, and I think it has a lot to do with that it actually cooled off here last night. Man, it's been like... It's been butt hot lately. It's been crazy. It hasn't been cooling off at all at night, but last night it got down to like 60 degrees, so that's pretty sweet. We always sleep with our window open, so uh, it's really nice when it cools down. It's pretty awesome. But anyways, today is my estimate day. Um, a little bit different today because we were supposed to have a doctor's appointment this morning for my daughter, um, but that got rescheduled. So uh, I got a few filler type jobs and also filled in an estimate this morning. So. First thing, I'm heading to do an estimate right now for a guy that uh, contacted me yesterday. Um, and then I have a emergency job that a guy called me for uh, just to like hook up a dryer. Um, I'm going to do that afterwards. And then I'm hoping to go get a haircut. That's why my hair's not done. <laughs> um, and then I got a few other things that I want to do today. Not sure what I will get done today, but because uh, my afternoon's pretty full with estimates. But uh, we're going to get to it and see what happens. This is Alan Lee with Honestly Handyman Services. How are you? Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Doing well. Good, good. Um, I was calling to let you know I just finished up with my morning appointment. I was wondering if I could come by in about 20 minutes or so. Uh, sure. Is that your work? Okay, great. I'll see you in a few then. All right, on my way to that dryer vent job. Uh, that estimate pretty, went pretty well. He just needed, he had a big old train table that he needs the legs kind of taken off of. Because uh, it just doesn't fit in his house, and he wants to just put the, the tabletop in the garage. Um, I was taking a look at that. It doesn't look too complicated, so I'll probably charge him 100 bucks for removing the legs on that and helping him put it in the garage. Um, and then he also wants some um, uh, outdoor light fixtures installed um, or replaced. Um, so I think I'll charge him probably 60 bucks a light fixture for that. Um, he says he's going to have two or three light fixtures, so that'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all for that one. So now we're just heading to that dryer vent job. While I'm driving here, I wanted to talk about something that was pretty impactful. Um, last night, my wife and I, we went to a foster care meeting. And uh, there was a special guest, guest speaker. And his, his talk last night was on um, making and taking um, offense. And to me, that was pretty, it was pretty impactful. Kind of made me think about a few things. And also think a little bit about this log idea here. Um, so what we kind of got down to was like, what is good about taking offense of something? Like what, what good comes from having the offense, you know what I mean? Um, and really there's not very much good that can come out of like, like being, oh, I'm offended, you know? But rather, if you aren't offended, there's a lot more good that can come out of something. Like if you're not offended by something, you can kind of look at it at a, as a, at a clear conscious and like address it in the way that it's supposed to be addressed rather than with this kind of uptight anger, you know? Um, and we kind of got down to it, like at the root of every thing that makes you feel offended, I feel is kind of the fear of being found out, which is kind of like super deep and something that like, I don't even want to talk about because it, it's like, it's kind of scary, you know? <laughs> um, I think everyone deep down inside of us, we have this fear of being found out of like, who we like secretly think we might be, you know? like. For instance, like, pricing handyman jobs is very scary because, like, in the back of my head, like, I have this thought of, like, oh, like, who am I to charge this money to these people to do this job? Like, 
like how can I do that? You know, how can I charge them this specific this specific price for this specific job? And so to share that with kind of the world with this log thing is, is very scary um, because that's kind of like a fear that I have in the back of my head. But but at the end of the day, I'm a professional handyman offering professional services, and um, I feel like I offer them at a pretty good price. Um, especially for this area. Um, so there are, there are a lot of things that go into that, but, but it was just very interesting kind of, kind of thinking about that, like that we all have the fear of being found out. So like with this handyman log idea, my, my goal and mission is to kind of bring the handyman life and handyman jobs into the commonplace, um, into a place where people can see it so that if people want to start a handyman business, they don't just see a bunch of handyman jobs that go great and that you made a crap load of money on and, and how everything's peachy because not everything is rainbows and fluffy bunnies. Like, sometimes stuff is hard. Pricing is hard because sometimes you got to deliver a price that, like, might hurt, you know, um, or something, some news that might hurt. Something to be like, hey, you know, something the customer didn't know, but, man, you tear open their wall and it's just full of termites or who knows. I mean, it's a hard... It's a hard business to be in, but it's a fantastic business to be in. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I just absolutely love the freedom that it's given me. And this Handyman Willog is really kind of trying to pull out of me uh, to get rid of that fear of being found out. Because I want I want to be completely transparent with you guys. Um, and there's been times when it's hard to, but I think that it's important to do that. So. That's kind of my mission. If you guys uh, appreciate that or kind of subscribe to that notion, uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, but we're going to get going. Just had to stop for that little that little word. It's really been on my mind. So the homeowner got the new uh, dryer vent hookup, but uh, he didn't get the, um, there's a little adapter that's needed to go from the, uh, the gas valve to the gas pipe uh, for the dryer. Um, he didn't the, the picture he sent me wasn't a close-up picture, so I didn't think that, that it needed an adapter, but this style does. Um, this is kind of why it's kind of not so good to take emergency jobs and kind of, um, you know, that's why I always do estimates, but, you know, it is what it is. So you live and learn. Um, so run into the hardware store to get what I need and then going to go to that guy's house. And he was, he was cool. He was reasonable. He's uh, willing to adjust the cost of it. Uh, since I gotta go run to the store, so that's pretty, pretty good. So I'll show you guys what I'm, uh, what I'm doing when I get back from the store. I'll show you a little bit about what I'm hooking up at this dryer. Well, this house is in uh, a new subdivision, so there's no like Home Depot or Lowe's around here. So I, this is actually my first time going to a Meeks uh, Hardware and Lumber, so that's kind of exciting. But um, kind of a small store, so they don't have a full wide selection of everything. Um, so they didn't have, the, the adapter I needed was the only one that they didn't have in stock. <laughs> That's usually how it goes, like when I go to like an Ace Hardware or something other than Home Depot, they have, the one thing I need, they don't have, but. Uh, so anyways, I just bought a whole new hose uh, kit for this dryer, and you know, because uh, that, that's the only thing we can do right now. They, they didn't have uh, the little adapter in stock, so we'll get this thing installed for them. All right, finished that guy up. Uh, that wasn't too bad of a deal. Just had to run over to Meeks to grab that uh, grab that part. But once I got here, I got it all plugged back in. See, so that's kind of uh, that's the reason why I typically like to do estimates rather than kind of what I call emergency jobs. Um, this was predominantly a, an emergency job. He called me yesterday, and I had some free time today, so I came out and did it. Um, I charged him a hundred dollars for this job. Um, it took me 
about an hour and 10 minutes, I guess. Um, I did have to drive, you know, so that includes drive time and all that. I drove maybe five miles total because it's kind of in a new subdivision, so there's not much around here. Um, so typically, like, if I would have estimated this job, I probably would have charged the same price for it, um, but I would have come with the, with the adapter that I needed, so I wouldn't have had to drive all around. Um, but, you know, this guy, he, he, he wouldn't have wanted an estimate because he kind of needed it done today. They just moved into this house this weekend, and they needed to get the dryer going. Um, so you kind of do what you can do, but uh, that's typically why I like doing estimates first rather than doing just coming and doing the job and giving them a price right then. Um, but all in all, worked out well, so I'm going to get a haircut right now. Alright, I got my hair cut, or as my mom always says, I got my ears lowered. <laughs> Anyways, I'm home just in time to have some lunch with my wife and daughter, and then I got to head back out. I uh, got another appointment at 1 o'clock. <gasps> you did it! Go, Harper! Oh, so close. Go, 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 go! Go, Harper! Oh, good girl! Harper, good job! Good job. Hi, Harper. All right, at home, uh, eating some white rice and some hamburgers for lunch. So uh, I've got to send an invoice of a guy that I did a job for yesterday and then write up that estimate that I did this morning. Um, I just got this pretty cool email. Um, well, a comment on YouTube I wanted to kind of share with you all. It's from uh, William Hayes. It says, this video is so informative talking about my video of how to start a successful handyman business. Um, I'm actually doing this right now, and I've just sent my boss mail today stating that I want to pursue, pursue this gig, meaning the handyman business, full time. Um, I'm so happy I stumbled upon this clip. Thank you very much. All the way from South Africa. So thank you, William. This is the kind of comments that I really enjoy. Uh, I'm just amazed that I can speak into people's lives. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to get to work here, eat some lunch, got to get out to my next appointment at 1 o'clock, and then also do my hair, obviously. Got to look good. Well, my 2 o'clock appointment canceled. Um, they had to reschedule. I guess they got tied up at work. So uh, just did my 1 o'clock appointment. She wants a just a gate rebuilt. Um, she had some guy stop and tell her that he could do it for 75 bucks, but she wants all redwood. So... Um, no way we could do it for only 75 bucks. Uh, I think typically I charge about 250 uh, for labor for gate. I got to look into my in my notes and see, and then I'll look up uh, the materials for all redwood and see what I would end up uh, charging her. But I'll write her up that estimate. And then she wants two doorknobs installed or replaced. Uh, she's going to get the doorknobs, so that's no big deal. Um, so I'm going to write those up. So right now, since my two o'clock uh, rescheduled, I'm going to go to McDonald's and write up some estimates and. Uh, and then uh, trying to move up my, my later appointments so I don't have to, so I can fill in this appointment, but we'll see. I just realized if, if uh, people don't, haven't followed my other videos, they might not uh, know exactly what's going on today. They might be thinking like, why isn't this guy doing much work? Uh, so one day out of every week, I do an estimate day. Um, and so, so I work four days a week, and then I, one day I do estimates, just nothing but estimates. This morning was a little bit different because I did that quick dryer job. Um, but I have a bunch of other videos out there on my estimating process, kind of how I estimate, how I figure out my pricing, things like that. Um, so I would highly recommend you check out my other YouTube videos. Um, but for this, my camera is about dead, so I'm going to have to uh, say that this is it for the day. But I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I would love for you to leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you do your estimates. Do you work on kind of an emergency basis? or do you perform estimates and have an estimate day? I would love to hear it. So anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day.